In this tutorial, we're going to build a simple card design using auto layout in Figma. So I have a blank design open right here and we're gonna do a really simple card design. We're gonna add an image, a headline, some body copy and a CTA and we're going to make an auto layout design using those elements. First, let's add a frame. I'm just gonna do a square and I just use the frame tool down here. Let's go to the right and let's fill it with an image. So instead of filling it with a color, Let's pick an image. I'm gonna say upload from the computer. I have a cute image of a cat. Let me crop this a little bit closer. So I went to that drop down and hit crop. We're just gonna zoom into the cat just a hair. All right, next, let's add some text. I'll start with a headline. I'm just gonna take the text tool, drag a text box and say headline here. So this text is Proxima Nova Black 40. So that's a nice headline size. I'm just gonna make that text box a little bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this. We're gonna insert some body copy here. I don't want it to be quite as large and I don't want it to be black. Let's change the font weight to regular. We'll do a font size of 20. Okay, instead of headline here, I'm going to use a plugin and put some lorem ipsum text in here. So go to plugins and you can either search for lorem ipsum plugin. I already have one installed called lorem ipsum and I'm gonna have this insert four sentences into my design. So I'm gonna click generate. And then the last thing we need is a CTA. So I'm going to copy my text again, and I'm gonna say CTA link here. And this would be just a text link with an underline. So in my typography area, I can add an underline to this. When I'm creating something with auto layout, you need to think about the things that are grouped in your design. And you wanna think about it at the its smallest grouping to its largest grouping. I do think this text is going to be grouped and I want the spacing within this text to be nice and even. Click and drag to select all three of my text elements here. I'm gonna group these with auto layout. Go either shift A and it will add a frame and put auto layout on it. Or you can right click and say frame selection and then you can right click and say add auto layout and it will add auto layout to this text element. So auto layout is applied. And now I can come over here to the right and there's some auto layout settings. You can change the alignment of these elements. And I can also change the space between these elements. So you can see it's currently at 39, the space between each of these text boxes. I'm gonna reduce this down to, let's do like, 20. And you can see the space is a little different between each of these still and that's because my text box is a little bit taller on this than it is for this element for instance. So the way to get around that is to select that headline and on the right here under layout we can say instead of the height being 60 we can say hug contents and that is going to reduce the size of this text box and essentially hug the box around the text. So let's just do that for all of these. Make sure that we're hugging our content. Next, we need to add this image box to our auto layout. So what we're gonna do next with this selected, we're also going to select the cat. You can click and drag to select both of these things now, the cat image and the text. And same thing, you can hit Shift A on your keyboard or right click to add a frame, which adds auto layout. If you're not sure if you have auto layout on your design, you can look in the layers and the auto layout looks like some blocks that are kind of next to each other. Okay, so when we added auto layout to this, it improved our layout here. It kind of centered our text with our card. So that's really awesome. So you could call this done if you wanted just a white background, but I actually want to add a colored background to this. So let's do a few more things. We're gonna add a little bit of padding around the sides of our card and also add a background color. I'm gonna go back over to my auto layout. Let's add a little padding. So the padding is right here on the right. Let's do 40 pixels of padding on the right and left. And let's do the same on the top and bottom. So you can say 40. And now let's fill this with a color. I want to add maybe a light gray. If you have a specific hex code in mind, you can type it in down here. I'm just gonna use my slider and add a light gray. And let's also add some rounded corners. So the rounded corners are under the appearance and we can put in some rounded corners, maybe 20. And you know, it might be nice to also round the corners of our image here. So we could also do 20 on our cat image. And now if you wanted to adjust anything else, like maybe the space between here is not quite right. Maybe we want it to match the space that's around our card. These were 40. So let's just hover over our design 
And you can come over here to the left too and select the specific layers. Here's our auto layout for our whole card. And you can see the space on the right, it's actually 54 pixels. So if we just change that to be 40, then all of these spaces are similar. You know, the last step you could do is to clean this up and make the layers over here make more sense. This is our entire card. So you could say card, this is our image, and this is our text. So now we can see that our auto layout for our card is in this layer right here instead of it having a funny name. So that's how you would auto layout a simple card using Figma. If you like this tutorial, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to Cry Studio for more graphic design and Figma tutorials. Thanks so much.